Yo, what up, you two? My name is Mike. I go by DJ Access, and I hope you all are getting back to work. Uh, here in Columbus, it's awesome to see all my friends' DJ calendars uh, filling up, and mine is as well. So um, enjoy it. Don't forget that last year um, we, we weren't sure that this was going to be back. So if when you get those you know, lame requests or uh, you're lugging gear, just don't forget about that and, and really enjoy the moment that is now with uh, everybody partying again. This video is going to be about updating Serato responsibly. I was just having a conversation with Justin Nice, who is an incredible DJ, as well as being a really dope dude. Um, if you're really a treasure to hear have in Ohio. He's been out in Vegas, Miami, some of the biggest clubs uh, around the country. And uh, he's at Seesaw. If you're in Columbus, check him out. Uh, I learn something every time that he spins, and uh, he'll be happy to critique you as well. And he's got awesome advice. So uh, I was having a conversation. He was on Serato 2.4, I think, and I was telling him, and I believe this, that this is the most stable that Serato has been since Serato Scratch Live. So Serato Scratch Live, that last version, is the most stable, and I think that this version of Serato we just had is right behind it, and the old heads can uh, argue with me about that in the comments below. But uh, I want to talk about how you can update Serato responsibly. I just got the email for 2.5.5, and I'm using a brand new computer, so I thought I would share with you how I do that. Um, if you find this video helpful or interesting, please hit that like button so other DJs can find it. And if you want to learn the art and business of mixing music alongside me, hit that subscribe button. Um, we do we do tutorials. Uh, I discuss DJ related topics, and occasionally I'll do a routine. Eventually, maybe some sometime <laughs> uh, right here on the channel. Um, and uh, obviously, if you have any questions or want me to cover another topic, let me know in the comments. Let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, I got the email. I'm going to be updating to Serato 2.5.5, but we want to do that responsibly just in case, you know, uh, Serato does a lot of testing, but in case something's buggy, uh, we want to have a backup copy of Serato on computer. So if it goes down, we open up the backup copy and we know we have something reliable. So I'm going to show you how to do that now and walk you through all the steps. I'm going to head over here to my email, hit download. We'll have to sign into Serato, download version 2.5.5. And while that's downloading, I'm going to go to my applications folder. If you're on Windows, that might be something different. And I'm just going to go to Serato DJ Pro, hit the rename. And I think this is 2.5.4. So I'm just going to rename it that, add my password. And what that's going to do, it's going to create a second copy of Serato. So now I, I know that works, right? I've been using that for the last few months here or however long it's been out. And I know that works. So that's going to be my backup of Serato as I switch to the new version. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And then boom, we're going to double click, continue, continue, agree, and install. Password. I might ask you, you know, if uh, something's like from the internet or whatever, installation was successful, move to trash. So now when I go back into my applications folder and I hit Serato DJ Pro, and you'll notice the name is just Serato DJ Pro. It's gonna take a second here. And here we go. What's new in 2.5.5? So we got Serato Virtual Audio, Plays Update, Recent Updates. That's not what this video is about. This is about updating responsibly. So we're going to hit OK. And here's Serato DJ Pro. And then let's say we're doing something and Serato crashes, right? Now, so we know that's unstable. We're doing something wrong. So all we have to do is go back into Finder, go into Applications, and then you'll see right next to Serato DJ Pro, which is what we just opened, is the Serato DJ Pro, Pro 2.5.4, which is the version that we know works. So if you ever wanna update Serato, just use that process of changing the old one, you know, renaming it, and then uh, downloading the update to Serato, opening up, it should be the same thing that's in here, as long as it's Serato DJ Pro and not the, the named file that you had, it should give you um, those two versions. You can delete um, any older versions that you don't want. But that's how I update Serato responsibly. And that's all I have for you today, guys. Uh, let me know if that was helpful. And if you'd like to see more uh, Serato backup or responsible uh, updating guides. Again, you know, I got to say it. Uh, 
Like the video if you found this helpful and you want other DJs to find it. Subscribe for more, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.